Yo, Cuss by Reggie. Back again, another video. See what happened when you wear black? Eh. Back again, another video. We're gonna do a quick comparison between two trimmers. We're gonna do the Gamma Evos versus the 2020Ts from JRL. I did the um, 2020Cs against the, not against, because they sound more of a battle, battle but comparison between the 2020Cs and the uh, Gamma Ergos. But before we get into all that and what, you know, all the good stuff for the trimmers, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. If you like to see me do any uh, reviews of certain clippers or anything, drop it down below. I will be having some more haircut tutorials coming up, but I've been on this whole shopping spree of buying different clippers and stuff, buying different trimmers and all this good stuff that the, the industry have been uh, offering us. So I got a lot going on with that, but let's get into this. Um, we're gonna start first. If you watched my last one, comparing the two Gamma versus JRL, they do the trimmers the same way and they work on the pre-order system, which is cool. And you know, if they gotta get them in stock, I understand it from a business standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but you do what you do. If you're gonna get a hold of them, you're gonna get a hold of them. If you want them, make sure you keep an eye out on their Instagram, on their Facebooks or wherever, YouTubes, make sure you keep an eye out on them so you'll know when things will be dropping and when you'll be able to pre-order them. Keep on their website if you haven't got a pair you know, make sure you uh, check that out. But once you get past the whole that you got to pre-order them, these are two different prices uh, in trimmers. The Evos are 150-ish, I believe, and the uh, JRLs are $100. So $50 difference. After we go through the comparisons of them, maybe you can make the decision, whether would you rather spend the 150 or would you spend 100? All right, so before we get into actual machines, of course, we go through the packaging. Um, the packaging, of course, I like the JRL packaging. We've been over that. So it's not bad when it comes to the trimmers. Uh, and then we got the Evo. Of course, you got the, the, the same Gamma experience. See how I do that? Hola. Same Gamma experience, the uh, magnetic flap, pop it open. You got the same guards. They do have a charging dock, which we are, we're getting in that. They have a charging dock. And then all your accessories are uh, extra shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? So the price, cool. The Evos, 150. JRL's 2020C, $100. $100 on the dock without the shipping. Um, and then you got the packaging, which is cool. You get past the packaging, right? Then we get into the accessories now. The accessories, I know some people, and they're not a big deal to some people. To me, the accessories that come in these packaging sometimes can be uh, a make or break in a sense of when you comparing to uh, two products, all right? So with these in accessories, when it came to the accessories between the two clippers, they were kind of hand in hand. They, they both won in different categories in a sense of accessories with the clippers from the JRL, you got all the way up to the eight guard, you got the little screwdriver, but on the other end with the the ergos, yeah, the ergos, you got the, the casing differences, you got the charging dock, so that changes. When it comes to the trimmers though, JRL not, not really doing anything with the accessories. And at first I'm like, well, what can you do with accessories? You get your you get your cleaning brush, your oil, and do you give you the screwdriver? They uh give you the adapter, but then you get the blade adjustment tool, which is fine, right? So you're thinking that's cool, but then you go to the Gamma Evos, right? And what Gamma does, you take a metal flap, boom. Already with accessories, Gamma is ahead. I don't use these. I don't swap out my colorings or anything, but for the people that do, you can mix and match and you got your different colors. You got your charging dock. JRL, now, I have heard they're working on a charging dock. Working on it and having it is <laughs> two different things. Now, I love JRL. 
love JRL, love Gamma, but Gamma give us more with these um, accessory wise. Also with the Gamma, let me see if I got something in here. They give you the, the tool, of course, but then they give you two different blades. If I got the other one in here, they give you two different blades. They give you the wide tooth, they give you the deep tooth, something that you can switch from, all right? So with the JRLs, where, where did I put my trimmers? I'm getting lost in here, I'm trying to make sure I go wherever, over everything. But with these, and we'll explain in a minute, but I have an Andes blade on this one. It's not the regular, it's not the blade that comes on it. I'm explaining in a second. But with this, if you didn't like the blade that comes on it, they give you two other options to go ahead and swipe that out. Whether it's the stagger tooth, the wide tooth, deep tooth, small tooth, all the extra tooths that you want. So when it comes to the accessories of the trimmers, and at first I'm like, what can you do? Cause I don't like the guards that come with trimmers. I don't need those, but they give you your, your cleaning, they're giving you your brush, they're giving you your oil, and then they're giving you um, the casings, the, the, the plates to go on it. You got a charging dock, you got extra blades. Gamma wins in this area when it comes to the accessories, all right? So you got you, you done ordered them, right? You done got past the fact that, oh man, they gonna make me pre-order them. Now you don't order them, all right? You don't figure out the price of them. You order them, boom, they on their way. Whenever they tell you in a month from now, they'll be on their way, but they on their way. So you done got the machine, you done opened the box, you look there at the accessories and you see that Gamma's winning, all right? But now we get to the machine. The actual feel of the machine, I like them both, all right? Not bad, very small. Um, the Gamma is a little heavier, but not by much, at, I mean, by much at all, all right? So you got the, the same thing with the Ergos. You know, they, they pretty much a set type thing. Got the grooves in the back, that same stainless steel blade, which I love this blade much better than the regular JRL blade. All right, so of course, you see the dip, nice little when you're lining up, but you got the JRL. JRL, of course, goes with the 2020, uh, 2020C, same design, same, you know, same setup. The only difference between the, the clippers and the trimmers is the LED display, which I know to save money, you can't just put a display on everything. I understand that and I'm not mad at it. I wish it had it, but I'm not mad at it. But the difference between these are, I think, well, not think, I believe <laughs> these are 10,000 RPMs and this is 7,200, pretty much the same as the Clipper. Also, on one of my videos, I'm gonna post the, the screenshot over here. Uh, somebody was telling me to be sure because I was saying that the calibers, they slow down after a while, but knowledgeable. Uh, somebody posted up, I think his name Luis Rivera, I believe, but he was saying to make sure that you oil in the Clipper since they got that high speed, you wanna make sure you oil them. I'm gonna put the screenshot here so we know them, but Side note, that's what this channel is for. For me to give out the information I know and to then maybe y'all give me information. Y'all put in the comments other information. Everybody can help everybody. We can build all together, all right? So thank you for that, Louise. If you got these clippers and trimmers that got the 10,000 RPMs, they're moving. They're moving, so do make sure you oil them up. But this is 7,200 RPMs, 10,000 RPMs, which and the clippers, I can't feel the difference to me, right? Or maybe it's just because I like the JRLs more. But in these, you can feel that these Evos have more power than the JRL 2020 Much more, I won't say much more, but they do have more, all right? These are a rotary motor, magnetic motor, all right? 
our speed. These stay cool. They both stay cool. Neither of them gets hot. So, um, where am I at? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Give me one second. Right. Right. So, <laughs> you got the RPMs, right? You got 10,700 as far as charging and then the run time. The JRLs take two hours to charge to run for two hours, which is fine because they actually do run for the full two hours. These take one hour to charge to a full charge and runs for two hours. So you got both running at two hours, but the Evo will charge faster in, in half the time. So you got these charging at half the time these charge it for two hours but they both run for the same amount of time all right so those are something with the machine the machines feel good both of them feel good um i didn't necessarily like i like the feel of these in the clipper this design i didn't necessarily care for it i don't like this so they try to give it the whole skeleton let me see they tried to give it the whole skeleton feel but when I'm lining up, especially on the head sometimes, this bulk, that bulk lip right there can't get in the way. I know you're gonna come in some, some sometimes like that, but sometimes you just might need to go in at a certain angle and sometimes this will get in the way. But of course, you know, you can also put the, the face on here to make it not a skeleton, but I don't know a lot of people who don't use skeleton clippers a day. They just make things so much easier especially when you come in. Anyway, but these, it's not that big of a hump right there. You, I'm pretty sure you can see the difference in that, all right? So I do like these Evos more in the sense of coming in, making sure that I'm lining up and they got the power, all right? Before we get to the blade, let me see if y'all can tell the difference in sound. So we got the Evo. JRL, Evo, JRL, both at the same time. JRLs are just a tad bit louder. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference. But just a tad, nothing crazy, because they're both very quiet. When you, when there's nothing going on in the shop, they seem like they got some sound to them. But when you're going through a regular day, I don't have any, my baby lists are here, but they're not charged. <laughs> but when you're going through a day, you got everybody talking, you got your client. When these are next to your client's ear, they're not crazy loud. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of these is just like, wait a minute. Cause especially with a kid. On a kid, you want to use a quieter trimmer to go around their, their, their ears or lining them up with the clippers or anything. Sometimes it's not that the kid don't like to get their hair cut or something like that. Sometimes they just want that, that, that sound. That sound is crazy sometimes. So both of them pretty quiet, all right? Then we get to the blade. This blade is very nice. Now I did swipe it out for the deeper teeth uh, blade that they had in there. So I put that on there, but I like this stainless steel a lot more than I do. I don't have the, J I have another JRL, but it's in the, it's somewhere. But they got this same coating on the blade of the trimmer, all right? Which I don't really care for that coating. I don't know what about it, it just feel plastic. It, they say it's a stainless steel with a uh, coating on it, whatever. I don't like it. So when you're trimming, when you're lining somebody up, it don't give that sharp feel to it. And if you go back to my review of the JRL, I show you the difference in between lining up with one with the 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 original blade on it versus the one with the Andis. I got a Andis blade on this one. I like the Andis blade more on this clipper, on this trimmer. So I just I just don't think that coat and I don't even like that blade on the on the actual clipper only because of the coat and on it. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. All right. I've seen people use them. Like I said, this is not 
for me to say what I'm doing is the absolute correct way. I'm just giving my opinion and my feelings on certain products. So I would say if you're going to use the JRL 2020 T's, get you a different blade on there. Maybe even see if this fits on there. 150, $100. Both work on a pre-order. Accessory wise, the Evos win that hands down. You get more plates to go on it. You change your colors, mix and match. You can make it skeleton or not. They got two extra blades that come in there that can, you can switch it up and make it how you like it. In their blade is much better than the original blade on a JRL 2020T, all right? You got 10,000 RPMs. You got 720, 7,200. I don't know why I said 720. You got magnetic rotary. You got two hours of both have two hours runtime. The Evos charges in less in half the time that the JRLs does. The Evos have a charging dock, which I I, I can understand pricing and I can understand because we as barbers the more the more services that we add the more that that it will cost so i do understand not having them because these are a good price they're a great price at a hundred dollars these are 150 50 dollars more is the dock worth an extra 50 dollars when it comes to these two yes and no right and i'll explain that so you got the charging dock all right you got a much better blade than the original blade on this all right they both stay cool. They both are very quiet. They both actually run the time that they say they're gonna run. So you're winning there. If it was up to me, and I don't like to say which one, because when I was doing my JRL uh, 2020C versus the Ergos, it was a toss up. It was like, you can't lose with either one of them clippers. And you can't, they were still two of my favorite clippers. They're top-notch clippers, right? Between these, I do say that the dock is worth the extra $50. I do say that that blade is worth the extra $50. That's just me, all right? So I, I, I'm, I'm not usually the one to say, go get this one over the other. But if I say you're looking for, if you're looking for a new trimmer and the price, if the price range works better for you, I say get the JRL 2020T, but put an Andy's blade on it. I hate, and I think that's why this one hits me a little bit because I hate to have to buy a product, but then have to switch up the product to make the product work better as the product, all right? But if you're looking for a budget, if you're on a budget and $100 is what you're looking to spend, get these, take a blade from somewhere and put it on this and these will work just fine for you. But if you wanna go ahead, get your trimmer, it runs, it works, it's good, the Evos is where you at. If you just wanna know which one to buy in general, and you, the price ain't the problem or nothing like that, find the Evos, get you the Evo. That's my opinion. You can argue with me later but not right now. I feel good today. <laughs> so that's my reviews. That's my comparison of the Evo from Gamma and the JRL 2020T. All right. I almost forgot. I almost forgot what I was talking about. But if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, thumbs down the video. It's fine. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, we got that giveaway coming up. We got that giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers. I'll be giving a, uh, uh, having a giveaway. So like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. Cuss by Reggie. I'll be back.